Every fall since the FJ came into the picture, my dad and I have taken a few days to explore a new area. And this little window of color is undoubtedly the best time to get out, explore, and film our adventures. Last year we went to the North Main Woods and had an amazing time. But this year, we're headed south near the Smoky Mountains to explore an area that is very unknown to me. But first we find ourselves in a very familiar area, the Mower Basin in West Virginia. This is my favorite spot on the East Coast for dispersed camping as I discovered it on a soul trip with the Baja. And I wanted to make the stop to see it with fall colors as well as show my dad some of the spots I spent my solo trip at. We cut the travel day in half to have a few hours exploring the area before camping and heading further south. Now what makes this small pocket of wilderness so great is its open terrain from being logged in the 1970s and 80s. In fact, this is a relatively new trail system with beautiful campsites at 4,000 feet that overlook the surrounding mountains and valleys. Finding a beautiful camp spot is our main goal for tonight. As late afternoon rolled around, we took our time and did every offshoot we could find in the area. Our next objective was to do a quick hike at an overlook to find a potential fire tower. As I might have assumed, many spots were already taken for camping as it was getting close to peak fall foliage for this area. And the road I stayed at the first night of my solo trip was completely full and I had one option left. The camp spot up on top of the mountain on a dead end road. The view that evening was incredible, and the stars were even better. As much as we were excited to keep moving south, we were glad we made the stop.
Day two is largely a travel day. We have to get from the Mower Basin to the top of the Smoky Mountains in North Carolina and Tennessee. We were then going to go north over the next few days while doing many off-road trails and enjoying the scenery around us. As for today, we took the scenic route through the Virginias and pushed south. Today is trail day. We woke up early to hit the road and find some trails. We're going to be hitting a few technical trails on the Tennessee side of the mountains. And to start it off, we're just doing an easy out and back trail to another old fire tower on top of the mountain. Okay, so after the long drive last night, we decided to wake up at like 5.30 this morning and just hit some trails. So that's that's literally the goal today. We're just gonna hit a whole bunch of trails up in here. Uh, we're about Eastern Tennessee. We're almost over into North Carolina, and I believe by the end of tonight, we'll be over in North Carolina. So this morning we woke up at like 5.30, packed up, got out of there as fast as we could, got here to this spot. So this is about a three out of 10 on all next. Nothing crazy, just a fun little off-road shoot. It is extremely windy. I'm not even sure if you can hear me right now, but very windy. And this is kind of the start of the actual trip. The past two days, we've been kind of traveling, kind of sightseeing. As you saw, we were in West Virginia, one of my favorite spots. And then yesterday was just a travel day. Drove down here. And man, haven't even seen the scenery yet because last night it started getting a little bit dark and then it's just foggy this morning. So I'm excited today to kind of hit some trails, hit some off-road spots, and just get to see some amazing things. So before it starts pouring on us, let's go down this trail and hit a four out of 10. Now we're gonna find a really cool trail tonight that I think will be our camp spot. It looks pretty epic, so let's go check that out. Finding cool camp spots is honestly one of my favorite things about long overland trips. From what my research showed, we should be able to hit a pretty sweet spot tonight. But first I wanna do some driving and hit some harder trails. We're here at the six out of 10 today. The last year we did was four out of 10. I did not film much when I was driving, obviously. It was pretty intense and that was very exciting. It's what I wanted to do. I wanted to get kind of, get on some technical trails this time and have some fun with it and learn some. So my dad's gonna drive this one. 
I'm gonna film and then tomorrow I'm gonna drive it back down without filming because obviously I can't do both at the same time and I do want to film it. So I'm very excited to start on the 6 out of 10 and then we're gonna hopefully camp up on top of the mountain. So we'll see how that goes. I had zero expectations going into this trail. I trusted the FJ and its reliability, as well as my dad and I's past off-roading experiences. The only downside though, is that we're going in solo. So good news, we made it to this beautiful overlook. You can see the colors are coming in up here in the mountains. Down there it's still a little green, but it's beautiful. You can see for 50, 60 miles out there, ridiculous. The bad news, I have a few pieces of bad information. Number one, I am a little bit under the weather. I'm not feeling great. Um, so that kind of plays into this what I'm about to go into. But number two, the gate is closed. So we drove all the way up this trail and the gate's closed and that gate was supposed to be open and allow us to go to some overlooks and some beautiful camp spots. That's not happening. Number three, it's supposed to rain tomorrow. So I saw it's supposed to rain early in the morning throughout the whole day. And the combination of all those factors, we decided to take the less than three hours that we have, get back down the mountain and find a different spot. Because honestly, even if we camped at a cool spot, you're not gonna be able to see much, but we can't even get to the cool spots. So. And I'm still glad we did that trail. It was amazing. I actually didn't drive. I was filming most of the time. But yeah, I was really glad we were able to do this decently technical trail. There's a lot of spotting that had to occur and a lot of that. And it was, it was amazing. It just kind of sucks that we have to go back down. But honestly, it's just a steep trail and a lot of slippery rocks. And I think that in the rain, it would be pretty bad. And we have to take it extremely slow. And even going down tonight, we have to take it slow. So. We're gonna see how that goes, and uh, then we'll head to camp. We'll find a new spot. After an awesome day on the trails and a good night of sleep, we decided to hit yet another fire tower and some lighter trails in the area.
Now, we seem to be a tad early for fall foliage in most areas as it was a later peak than predicted, but nonetheless, it was beautiful in the trails and some of the overlooks that we were able to be at. Beautiful day turned to rain as it got later. Tonight was going to be a little bit of a risk for camping. I had seen one post about camping on this mountain, but I had no pictures or maps to go off of. You always risk not finding camp spots, but that also makes it much more worth it when you find something amazing. Nonetheless, we found a spot at around 4,800 feet with what looked to be an overlook, but I guess for tonight we would enjoy the moody fog that seems to be growing thicker. So after rolling in last night under some fog and some rain and some snow, and some coldness, we set up and hoped for a beautiful sunset. That didn't happen, it stayed foggy. Woke up this morning, it's also foggy, so still a beautiful area out here. And I believe the area we're in is actually an old campground. There is these old cement tables just kind of in the forest in places. And this looks like a very just brushy area, like it's new undergrowth. So I'm assuming there was a campground here at one point. It's probably beautiful because the view is just, we're on top, we're at about 4,800 feet, and you could probably see all the surrounding mountains and probably the start of the Smokies. Um, but yeah, it is a beautiful area. But today, we're going to head to Pisgah National Forest. And it's not much of a drive, it's probably about 45 minutes to an hour from this spot. We're gonna do some exploring there. Then we're gonna head to a road called Old North Carolina 105, and I believe that has some camp spots on it that are pretty beautiful up on top of the mountain again. So, hoping it'll be beautiful tonight, but either way, Beautiful morning, beautiful trip. And as this is the last full day and the fog's starting to roll in more, I wanna go hit some scenic areas and uh, just enjoy the day.
On our way to Pisgah, we realized that we had a chance to do part of the Blue Ridge Parkway and immediately jumped at the chance. It was the one place during the trip that we both wanted to hit a tourist attraction because we knew that this time of year would be beautiful. And it definitely was. Now the FJ has never given us any problems on the trail. Well, until now. That sounds like a bushing. Right? It sounds like structure. There's that this big body bushing. It sounds like it's. Is there something up in here? Yeah, cause that. I hear something. There, oh, this, that. This bushing here. Is it, is it moving there? There's no movement now. Yeah, it's, it's in that bushing. I think it probably the bolt has worked through to like metal or something. <laughs> so now so, it's just. I mean, it's just rubbing. Yeah. Like it's metal on metal instead of the bushing being in there. So, yeah, nothing yeah. to worry about. She'll make it. Just annoying. As it wasn't anything major, we hit the road again to enjoy the scenery. So we've been spending most of the morning just kind of roaming around small towns, a lot of stone roads, a lot of just kind of state forest, national forest routes. It's been absolutely beautiful. The color's not quite here yet. We're also kind of low, we're at about 1,200 feet. So the color's not here yet, but it is absolutely beautiful. And even the small little towns we've been going through, so cool. They're in the middle of nowhere, in the middle of the mountains, just little towns, absolutely beautiful. Uh, from this point, we're going to head to our camp spot. Uh, we don't exactly know where our camp spot is, but we know where the road is. So we're going to head that direction, keep heading that way, and uh, see what we can find for tonight. Real quick funny story, we are coming up old North Carolina 105, it's an old route up here through the ridge of the mountains and there's a bunch of dispersed campsites and I was actually going to film the whole thing coming up because it is absolutely beautiful, tons of cool overlooks and spots you can look out, but we were being followed by a forerunner with the rooftop tent and I kind of knew what that meant, that somebody else was trying to find camping so I kind of wanted to beat them to it, but uh, there's actually a bunch of beautiful spots, so there's that, but we made it up here, it's around 4 o'clock and we're just going to kind of spend the evening setting up, 
making food and uh, getting ready for a trip home tomorrow. It has been really nice to find a beautiful camp spot like this because all of our other camp spots I would say weren't as beautiful, they were still cool. Not as beautiful as this. And uh, yeah, I'm excited to see what sunset looks like. The spot we had was incredible. Sure, it was right off the road on an uneven patch of rocks, but the view it provided was one of the best we've had in a long time. We were able to see almost 180 degrees and even catch a glimpse of Charlotte, North Carolina, about 60 or 70 miles away. And the whole trip was worth it, even if it was just for this one spot. While enjoying the view, my dad spent some time tightening the bushing while I did some file organization for the past few days of content. Didn't we have spaghetti our last night in the North End Woods? That was the at night the lake. at the lake. Yeah. Yeah. While we reminisce on our time in Maine, we were able to enjoy one of the most beautiful areas down here in North Carolina. A view like this was something I could have never expected. Unfortunately, this was the final morning. We had about an hour or so to enjoy the beautiful sunrise before we left the forest and headed home.
Now, despite being a little early for peak fall, this was an amazing adventure. It gave my dad and I some off-roading fun as well as some awesome views to remember. Needless to say, I am very excited for what next fall has in store.